What's up, dude? What's going on? I think you guys have seen Corey before. He helped me when we did the brakes on my plane, but Corey's actually got a, what, Series 7 Kit Fox in his garage that is getting close to finish. He's got it painted with the firewall forward up, need to do cowlings and all that, but he still doesn't have his pilot's license, so. No, not yet. <laughs> a lot of people have their private pilot's license, but no plane. I'm yeah. doing it just in the reverse order. Yeah, now you need to learn to fly. <laughs> So, we are gonna go on a different type of backcountry adventure. You guys that have been following for a while know that I've been doing these Idaho backcountry trips every summer or spring in my airplane, and for the last two years I've been trying to get up to Idaho on the snowmobiles to go play in the same backcountry area. So, uh, Corey just got here. We're gonna get loaded up. Sounds like they're getting snow right now up in McCall. We're gonna jump in the truck, get headed north. You ready? I gotta pick you up. There we go. There's a good little dog. All right, Dax. Bye. All right, one in the morning, and we're here. And we're not the only ones that had this idea, so hopefully it's a good sign that there's other snowmobiles in the parking lot. So we're gonna get some sleep and uh, get going in the morning. And good morning, guys. It is a brisk nine degrees out right now in McCall. Avalanche danger is considerable across the board. So consider that. All right, we just stopped, got these out-of-state stickers, met up with Phil who is gonna be nice enough to show us around today, which is awesome, because you're like between jobs. This is like a last yeah, second one day throw down. in. Yeah. yeah, so, and it's funny On because- On a sunny day at least. Yeah, it is actually perfect. But yeah. Phil and I have known each other at least on social media for like at least nine years. Yeah. Because he does film stuff. I do drone film stuff, but he's got a new Atrix Boost. Kind of oh. like my sled. Is your, yours is the chaos? Mine's the chaos. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, should it should be fun. Be good. And this is the new beast. So you guys might have noticed that last year. I did one video about snowmobiling. I had a red sled at the time. I sold that to my buddy Cam Zink, which is awesome, keep it in the family because we ride together. But when they announced the new Chaos Boost or the Matrix Boost, I should say, the new chassis boost, had to do it. And that's what Phil's got as well, so. And then he's got a 10 year old 800, so he's gonna be working harder than us. Yeah. But it's gonna be fun. Okay, hey, GoPro mode enables. there yeah could be a little bony right there but once we get over that it's gonna get really good okay that way Okay, 
Okay, so there's one of the guys in the parking lot said, how long have you, or how many miles you guys got on your sleds? He said he got 150 out of his and then the fuel pump went out. He's like, if you start hearing a whining, stop riding. I swear I'm hearing it, but I might be crazy, but no. Phil says he hears it. I just took the cap off and it didn't, doesn't sound like it's coming from the tank though. Is the pump in the tank? Yeah. Huh, interesting. Well, I uh, stopped in a inconvenient spot. Stopped for lunch break with a view. This isn't bad, but look at the slides behind us. So we knew that avalanche danger was here. And it's exactly slides. what they said there too on a wind loaded face. Yep. And there's another one above us too. I don't know if you can see that, but natural releases, but yeah. Definitely a little spicy out here. Yeah. I think what I want to do, I want to throw the drone in the air. You want to play around and let me. Laps in here? Yeah. Give me something to film. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. stuck going downhill. That's awesome, it gets stuck on your side. <laughs> This, it's you can a tell handful. This thing was just going I'm like winded trying to keep this thing together. <laughs> okay, I feel a little better about myself. <laughs> and I got stuck going downhill. <laughs> I saw that. I definitely, uh, I've been questioning myself after riding with Phil because like you've been riding forever. I'm like pretty rookie at this stuff, but you make me feel a little better if you're winded on that thing. It's a handful. <laughs> it's fun though, right? It's super fun. I mean, it like, comes around so much faster than that even. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That was rad. I'm definitely tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both are completely smoked after that one. You got stuck, I don't know, we lost count after we ran out of fingers. Yeah. But dude, for a 10 year old sled that's an 800 naturally aspirated riding with two 850 turbos that are brand new, like dude, you did good. 
Yeah, we managed. It was, <laughs> yeah, and he took us through the thick of it. And this was like literally the weirdest snow I've ever ridden on. So I guess the, the storm that just came through that dumped like two or three feet or maybe even more started out really cold. So there's this like sugary, super light layer and then it got warm. So there's this heavier layer and it froze last night. So if you stayed on top, it was pretty good and it was like weird because it you didn't want to get on edge that easily yeah it felt firm but as soon as you broke through that it was like bottomless blower you were just up to the skis running boards and yeah and that was the other thing you got out of the track and your skis would break under the crust and you were just like gone so <laughs> that was a workout just to ride not to mention all the stucks but yep. phil thank you again for showing us around he's got a blast off he's got another shoot like i said he works in the film industry and in the snowmobile film industry so tomorrow it's just us two, so we're gonna. Back at it again. Yeah, we're gonna get this stuff packed up, drop things off to dry, and then go find a brewery or something and enjoy my call. Okay, it is cold. We're gonna get these things unloaded, get packed up. We'll try to get up to uh, where the sun's starting to hit on the hill so we can try to get some of that solar heat. To the good old best western like uh i know i'm not just speaking my for myself here when i say that like 
were exhausted. <laughs> I got to the point where I could barely hold on to the bars and I was just getting squirrely, getting stuck. Every stuck you get makes you even more squirrely. It's just a vicious cycle that you're like, as soon as you get gassed, you go down that slippery slope of getting stuck a bunch more. So we called it a little early today. We're gonna go hit the hot tub, go find ourselves some good dinner and then uh, get on the road home tomorrow. See you, Trent. That was a blast. Time. Let's do it Good again. Good times, definitely. Yeah. All right, guys. And three days later, back safe and sound at home. Didn't wreck anything, and finally got the chance to explore the Idaho backcountry in the winter. And I hope you guys didn't mind this little departure from flying yet again. But the weather out here is beautiful, and we're looking at at least two more weeks of not very winter-like weather here in Reno. So I'm gonna get back to flying after this job I'm leaving for tomorrow. So after I get back from that, back to flying content. But really quick before I go, I do wanna say a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. And I know most of you guys have heard me talk about Squarespace before, but they are truly a huge supporter of this channel. And for anyone that has yet to build their own website, don't look any farther than Squarespace. They make it super easy. Like literally anyone could go on, design their own website. You start with one of their templates that are beautifully crafted and you tweak and change it into your own professional looking and working website that works on both desktop as well as mobile. And they have features for literally every industry. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, whether it's an online store, a personal blog, online photo gallery, or a, or a website for your business, you're gonna be able to do it with Squarespace. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, go to squarespace.com slash Trent Palmer. They'll get you 10% off. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this one. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.